what should I call my business? It's one of those complicated processes we go through when we start a new business. But Peter's done it beautifully because it's Peter. Now he sold the business now, he doesn't own it anymore. But if you want to know the Peter Alexander pyjama story, one of those great business stories to study. Because everywhere you go now in Australia and New Zealand, you'll find these pyjamas. So instead of trying to come up with some name that nobody remembers, why not use your own name? The name that you're the most proud of. Could that be a good name for your business? And could that be, or could that make sales more simple? Because people know who you are. No cow poop.